Their whole purpose throughout history has been to teach a small number of people how to become adept at controlling everyone else. Their goal is to destroy all existing religions, save theirs, all existing governments, save theirs, and shackle the mob in a system of eternal oppressive debt chained to a computer for the rest of their life in a propagandized world to make them believe that they are happy in this system. Now, do you think they're succeeding? Yeah. Haven't I described to you just now exactly what is going on in the world today? Yes, they're succeeding. They're succeeding because the American people don't understand their enemy. They don't even know what's happening. There's a method to their madness. There's really not much method to yours because you're operating from a place of ignorance. And until you change that, you're going to be bumbling around, bumping into each other, saying and doing the wrong things, not understanding the nature of your en enemy. And if you don't understand the nature of your enemy and the weapons they use, you cannot fight that enemy. You can't fight the battle. You shouldn't even be on the battlefield. That's why you're losing the war. And don't tell me you're not, because I'm in a place of great knowledge about who's winning and who's losing this war. And I can assure you, you're losing the war. This country was founded by dangerous men. Amen. And the moment the people in this country cease to be dangerous men, it's going to be the day we cease to have a country. And I'm going to tell you right now, unless we can be successful in creating a real free press where the American people get different viewpoints other than those expressed in the establishment controlled media, there's going to be a civil war in this country and it's going to come soon. The only thing that can stop it is by waking up vast amounts of sleep.